What's up everyone, this is Sol with another video and uh, in a kind of a surprise announcement, we have a preview of what's gonna happen in 11.0. Okay, actually we knew that we were gonna get a preview at some point really soon. It just happened to be a little bit earlier than scheduled and I ain't mad. Hell no, I ain't mad. So I'm not gonna show the video. I'm gonna leave a link to the video in the in the description below because it's just a it's a it's a bunch of developers uh, talking about and kind of like nerding out. Seriously, it's very adorable how some of them are nerding out over like some of the new stuff that's coming. But here's what's gonna happen: we're going to get this new zone called uh, called Sirens Peak, and it's going to be a place that is it's kind of like it's gonna have this forbidden reach kind of vibe. This is the probably the main feature. One of the main features of this particular patch, this one is going to give us an opportunity to farm for cosmetics and catch up gear, and what have you. There's also going to be like this thing that's kind of like an onyx amulet. Uh, so we're going to be farming whatever the heck currency that we need to do to summon bosses, fight bad guys, start events, things like that. And then we'll be able to create this ring and slot it with stuff. I don't know what kind of stuff it is but we're actually going to find out tomorrow because the ptr that's when the schedule the ptr is scheduled to come up i'm hoping that it's going to have this kind of onyx annulet vibe uh and they had said specifically that this ring is meant to be powerful it's meant to take us through the rest of the season as well as the i guess the first chunk of the next season so we can expect sort of a vibe sort of a feeling similar to that uh which may or may not be great for some folks for me it's gonna be great my guild is probably cringing already being like oh my god soul is gonna make us use all the healing stuff on this stupid ring and i'm gonna be like yes because we're gonna drop all the healers and we're just gonna yeah i love doing that stuff so anyway there's more stuff coming in 1107 though it's not just going to be us being funneled into like this one spot uh for getting this player power getting these cosmetics and what have you because plunderstorm is also coming back uh it's it seems like it's going to be gameplay wise kind of the same thing hopefully they'll have like new quirky powers and stuff but it's going to be the same map we're still going to the urathi highlands uh but it looks like there's going to be a new plunder store that has new and returning transmogs and mounts so for the people that hated it, just a reminder, we did see some of this Plunderstorm stuff go onto the trading post, so don't feel so FOMO'd out or don't feel so left out uh, if, if Plunderstorm gameplay was just not for you. But for those who loved it, welcome back pretty soon, I guess. And we'll be able to uh, play it on the PTR as well, I hope, maybe. Uh, there's also going to be some story stuff going on. Uh, we're going to find out what's going on with the Kirin Tor. We're going to get led into the events of Patch 11.1, .1, whether we go to some goblin place or some other island or further underground or something, we don't know. Uh, for those who are interested in lots of leveling, Turbulent Timeways are going to be coming back, and I'm going to presume that it's going to last throughout the entirety of that of that patch, which should be around eight or so weeks. So people who are trying to like level up a bunch of characters, hey, sweet, you'll be able to do that as well. And this is like following the heels of the anniversary stuff. So people who are like not done or who made a bunch of characters during the anniversary event, cool, you can do some more leveling by doing Turbulent Timeways, which should include the likes of like Classic and there's I think at the time, there's more than likely going to be a refresh of more of the vendors, you know, uh, more new cosmetics that are coming from each of the time walking eras, maybe. And then finally, what they're talking about here are earth and uh, are, I'm sorry, uh, ear customizations for the humans and cool and cool Terran. You guys might have seen the Arath, they have like short ears and they have like different body types. So people who play as uh, Stormwind humans or cool Terran, they'll be able to get that ear customization, although immersion wise i don't know where that's coming from so that's kind of weird it's like so why can i play as that person can i pretend that i'm like a can i pretend that i'm a person from the arathi empire now that's kind of odd but still a lot of cool stuff that's coming maybe you care maybe you don't but i'd love to know what you think drop a thought in the comments and if you don't mind like the video subscribe for more stuff Catch me live and I'll catch you later. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.